The flag rockfish does not have a lot of information on it, but it's beautiful. Hi, what's going on everybody? My name is Brandon, I'm a marine biologist and an artist, and welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. I love sharing my experiences with aquatic animals with you. It is my goal to raise awareness of our beautiful bodies of water and the creatures that live in them through science, stories, and art. If you are new, welcome! Please stick around to the very end to hear about this month's charity opportunity. Today we're going to be discovering the flag rockfish. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Sebastes rubravinctus are known as flag rockfish. They are found in the eastern Pacific Ocean from San Francisco, California to Cape San Quentin, Baja, California. These rockfish prefer cobblestone, rocks, high relief terrain, and rocky reefs between 6 and 302 meters, or 20 to 990 feet deep. They are a coastal fish and don't move offshore very far. They are a solitary fish, but will be associated with other fish. Flag rockfish are demersal fish, which means that they spend most of their time close to the seafloor. This makes them difficult to study in their natural habitat. So, we know where to find the flag rockfish. What are we looking for, and what are some behaviors? We are looking for a rockfish body. And what does a rockfish body look like? It is a scaly, narrow, deeper body fish. They have a pointed nose that ends at a lower positioned mouth. They have large black eyes that are high on the body. 12 to 13 dorsal spines, followed by a set of soft dorsal rays. They have a flat caudal peduncle or tail fin, soft anal rays with two to three spines, low pelvic fins, and large pectoral fins. Flag rockfish are a beautiful fish. They have four bright orange or reddish orange bands on their body and two bands on their head. These headbands start from the eyes and fork down to the jaw and operculum, or gill cover. The rest of the body is a light cream color with small flecks of orange or pink to it. They grow to lengths of 26 inches and can live between 18 and 20 years. They are a really cool looking fish. They are often mixed up with the red banded rockfish. The red banded rockfish is mostly orange and doesn't have stripes on its head. And that's how you can tell these fish apart. Flag rockfish are beautiful to look at. That is probably why I took this picture. Actually, that's not, a, that's not always true. I just like looking at new fish and animals, uh, whether they're beautiful, ugly, or not. <laughs> it's kind of like filling out a Pokedex for me. I gotta catch them all. <laughs> so now we know what the fish looks like. What are some interesting behaviors? There is not a ton of info on the flag rockfish. Um, from what I could find, they are a solitary fish, but they do get together in small groups for the breeding season. They also like hanging out with other rockfish, including canary, green spotted, rosy, starry, and vermilion rockfishes. From what I found, apparently they're really good food fish, and this brings us to our next segment. So it's a, the time of our adventure where we discover the diet and population health of the flag rockfish. What do they eat? They eat small fish, crustacean, krills, and squid. They are a benthic associated fish, so they like eating things close to the seafloor. So it's a time for the population health. How are the flag rockfish doing? I looked at the IUCN red list and they are listed as not evaluated. This is not surprising to me at all. I spent a lot of time researching this fish so I can teach you, and I found barely anything. 
I had to piece together info from many, many sources. It sounds like these fish are popular in the fishing industry as well. They are caught with long lines and fishing poles by sport fishermen. They are a good fish for eating, and they look good. It is good that this fish isn't a main target for the food market. We don't know its population ranges, but also if we if it was a big industry fish, we would have more data on it. It's just fun finding a fish that swims below the radar. All right, it is now time for my personal encounter with the flag rock fish. How did I see such an elusive fish? That is a pretty good question. I saw it at the Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium in the Pacific Seas Encounter. They have a large tank filled with many rockfish. This one was all by itself near the bottom of the tank. Other fish would swim by, but it stayed in place just hovering there. I really liked how it stayed still so I could take a good picture. I also love the colors of it, orange and white stripes. I knew it was a rockfish, but I didn't know which species it was. There are over 124 species of rockfish out there, and I don't know all of them by heart. Anyways, I like capturing fish for my paintings. I like watching how they interact with other animals. This fish wasn't doing much except swimming, moving its fins, breathing, um, different things that fishes do. But that is fine. I still enjoyed my encounter. So as the final details come into focus, I will call this adventure finished. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, click subscribe and ring the notification bell to be notified when I post new content. I do my best to post new content every other weekend. These videos take kind of a long time to make and I don't want to rush it and I want to make it high quality for you. For this month's charity I'm going to be supporting the Seattle Children's Hospital. They're a wonderful organization helping children and their families in the Pacific Northwest area. Since it's December and Christmas is right around the corner I want to help these people to make sure that they are the most comfortable that they can be in this hard time. Seattle Children's Hospital takes many forms of donations. You can donate your time you can include uh, clothing, items, toys, or even money. I know several people who d donate toys to the Seattle Children's Hospital so that they can have oh, something to open up. What I have done is I've uh, made a cash donation to them, and I hope you will too. It's my goal to just help organizations throughout the year um, just even if it's a little bit of an impact, I'm going to be helping somebody one person at a time. So let's help people out and show our love and support. If you would like to help this community so that I can continue making content for you, going on adventures, and bringing them back for you, um, I sell my art in the forms of originals. So I sell my, my originals at $12 a linear inch. I also sell Jaclay prints. So that's going to be $6 a linear inch for my limited runs. I personalize those so it's as close to an original as possible. And then I have unlimited prints that are $3 a linear inch. I also make apparel uh, on Teespring. I'm not very good at it quite yet, but I'm trying. I'm going to be working with uh, Patreon more closely. I really need to look into that and any support will help. Thank you for your time. Remember, spread love and curiosity. I've been Brandon, and I'll see you in our next adventure.